How about home humidifiers? I mean, uh, we see people installing humidifiers on all the furnaces. Sounds like that's not a good yeah. idea. No, that's a terrible idea. Uh, in my own house, the, when I bought it, there was a humidifier installed in the furnace, and I had to take care of uh, uh, moisture in the ducts. If you need to increase the level of relative humidity in your house, that should tell you something. That means you've got a leaky house. If your house is energy efficient, you're going to have the opposite problem. If you need a humidifier in your home, I would recommend having an audit done through the Home Performance with Energy Star program to tighten the house up. And then you're not, you're not going to be needing uh, to add moisture to the house. Um, and if you do put those on uh, a furnace, they are prone to problems. If, especially if you're on a private well and you have a problem with um, minerals or iron, that could eventually lead to leaks in humidifiers. And then you're going to have a lot more moisture in the furnace and then causing problems with the furnace. So we don't recommend those. Any other questions at Lewis? Okay, how about Tompkins? Any, Any well, questions? I, I, oh, you have another one? Yes, go ahead. <clears throat> I have a follow-up on that. Um, no, same, just a follow-up on that question. You know, it seems like when you're, it's 40 below zero outside, the humidity is extremely low. Um, you know, your skin cracks, your lips crack inside even. Uh, you still say there should be enough moisture inside the house to, to maintain 35%. Yeah, no, that's an interesting point. Uh, that could happen in a small household, one or two people. It's remember, it's the household of four that'll produce between three and six gallons of moisture per day. That that's a valid point. But if you use a humidifier, I would not put it in a central heating system. Put it in a room where you can monitor it, and then be aware that that reservoir of water is uh, susceptible to contamination. So there are. There are cleaning recommendations. Uh, right now, I can't think of the site where it comes from, but it involves using bleach, cleaning them on a regular basis so that you're not uh, sending out bacteria and viruses and other contaminants. Thanks for that follow-up. Okay.